Institute of Marine Sciences has the oldest continuous long-term shark survey in the country. It was began in the very early 70s by Professor Frank Schwartz, and it has occurred every other week, spring, summer, and fall since 1971. So having a 40-year record of, of patterns of shark catches across multiple species is just incredibly valuable. Because it's been sampled in pretty much the same way, in the same location, continuously every year, it represents a very valuable record on not only the sharks themselves, but the whole community of sharks that's out there. If you don't have the shark on the boat for, for that long, and we try to keep it under five minutes, they don't build up lactic acid or similar type acids that can damage them as once they're back in the water. And so basically, you know, keep them, keep them secured and keep them out of the water for a short amount of time as possible is kind of the, the two things that we focus on. It's important to recognize that when you're talking about sharks, there are a lot of different species. And many of those species are relatively small individuals that pose no sort of threat to humans. One of the things that's surprising is those that we're most concerned about, the large tiger sharks, hammerhead, are the very ones over the last couple decades that have become increasingly less abundant to the point where we very rarely capture them anymore. So the shark attacks have been occurring. They are obviously some big sharks that are in the area that have come in, but it's not as though the waters out there, our record clearly shows that those sharks are nowhere near as abundant as they used to be.